Hi there guys, um, well today I'm standing here from this uh, box, fuse box, DV box, whatever you want to call it and uh, well this is the uh, one we use in our country, yours may look a bit different may have the uh, black semi breakers in there, this is a thin rail we also use this one, doesn't matter, it's all the same, earth leakage, earth leakage and uh, well I've had a few questions or queries lately about what to do when the earth leakage strips because uh, first thing you want to do well first thing most people do call an electrician even if it's 10 o'clock 11 o'clock at night call the electrician but there are a few things that you can do to narrow the problem down or at least have some power until the next day when the electrician actually shows up and uh, yeah I'm gonna go through them show you some steps and on uh, what you can do you uh, come home to find your earth leakage is tripped first thing you do is uh, don't call the electrician there's a few things you can do yourself to try and narrow it down let's start with this switch off everything and uh, unplug everything in the house don't just switch it off actually go and unplug everything even the multi adapters if you've got multi adapters or other adapters in there, unplug everything. Those are uh, usually your, your main suspects are the adapters. So take them out from start to finish, even the hard to reach ones behind the fridge, freezer. The fridge or freezer is also one of the main culprits why the earth leak is my trip. So unplug everything in the house. Come back to your trip box if you sure that everything has been unplugged. Start from the one side, start from the main switch, then switch on your earth leakage. If it stays on, well, it's good for you. Then start switching everything else on again. If it's all been switched on, still stays on, the lights are on, then that means there's something that you've plugged in that's not right. So start plugging everything back in, one after the other. Plug it in, switch it on, test it. If it's working, that's not that. If you get to one plug and you plug it in, earth leakage strips off again, then you know. That thing that you just plugged in, that's a suspect right there. So what happens? Unplugged everything, switch it on, earth leak is still tripping. Test. If you switch the earth leak, it's on, switch the main switch on, it stays on. That's good. Let's say you start from the one side, go through these ones, get to here, earth leak is tripped. Well, switch that one off again, switch it on, switch these two on. If those two are on, earth leak is on, everything is on except this one and it still stays on, everything else is working, then you know something on this circuit is not right. So if you unplug everything on that circuit, then you know maybe the wiring is faulty on that circuit. Switch it on, this one, one trips, and you know that's your carpet. It could be plugs, it could be the geyser, the hot water cylinder, which is uh, also a, a main problem with the earth leakage, if it is on earth leakage and uh, yeah at least you can narrow it down then if you can switch the faulty one off you switch the rest on you can live with some of the power still on so let's say that didn't work your earth leakage is still tripping even if you just switch that on that on still tripping doesn't matter which one you switch on then we get to a more difficult part Okay, so for those of you still having problems with the earth leakage stripping, next step is to, to remove the cover. Now, some of you won't want to do that, call an electrician, that's fine. If you're willing to do it, well, go ahead, remove it. Like I said, this is for just for demonstration purposes. You'll, your DB will have a lot more wires going in and out of here. But the concept will stay the same. Even if you have a lot more breakers, the concept is still the same. What you're going to look for now is the earth leak, it's at two points down here. Make sure the power is turned off, we're going to remove these two wires. What we're going to do, why we're going to do that, why we're going to do that is just for the um, testing purposes. See if the earth leak is actually working. Remove those two, make sure they're not touching anywhere. Well, it doesn't really matter. Then you switch on your main switch and switch on your earth leakage. Now, if it's been tripping the whole time and it still trips, even if you remove the two wires at the bottom, it still trips, it still trips, then you know you've got a faulty earth leakage unit. 
switch that one, the problem should be solved. If now you switch it on and stays on, where it previously didn't, then you know it's not the earth leakage that's the fault, there has to be something else. So, switch off the power again, put the wires back in, if that's not your problem. Make sure it's nice and, nice and tight, pull the wires to make sure they're tight. Now, the next step is going to be your neutral bar. Now, you've got to find the neutral bar with the wire coming from the earth leakage unit. If this is the wire going to this neutral bar, then this is going to be the one you're focusing on. Sometimes neutral bars might be breached out. If that's the case, you know you've got to focus on both. But if it's just the one with the one wire going to it, start with this one. There will be a few neutral wires going in here. As, as many neutral wires as there as they are circuits. What you're going to want to do is uh, start from the one side and remove your first wire. Loosen the screw, take the wire out. Pull the wire a safe distance from everything and uh, start switching on from the one side. If your circuit stays on with that one wire removed, electricity is switched on, everything's working except for the one wire that you removed, then you know on that circuit that's going to be a problem. You can search for whatever is switched off, which whatever is not working, and on that circuit has to be your problem. Make sure you check the outside plugs, watertight plugs, those are also a big big thing. Garden lights, also one of the main sources of, of tripping on the earth leakage. If it's not, that's not your problem, earth leakage is still tripping, put the wire back in, tighten it up, pull on it to make sure it's tightened, go to the next one, loosen that one, same thing over again, switch it on, switch these ones on, if it's still tripping, put it back in, move to the next one, move to the next one until you find the one neutral wire that's tripping and on that circuit that's going to be where your problem is so uh, at least you've narrowed it down to that circuit then you can start your fault finding on that circuit and uh, yeah depends on what it is if it's a hot water cylinder the geyser that's well, usually the element if it's a stove well stoves does cause nuisance tripping so uh, might get an electrician out to check that out if it's the light Lights also a big problem, get an electrician out. If it's the plugs, just double check if you've removed everything. If you've removed all the multi adapters, all the plugs, outside plugs, everything. And uh, well, if it's one of the wire circuits, one of the neutrals connected to one of the circuits, at least you can use the other circuits. No, not without power for the rest of the night until the electrician comes. So, that's that. Hopefully, that helped some of you.